Okay, this is the AO1 content for loss of control. So you get 10 marks for AO1, whether it's an essay or whether it's a problem question. So I've got this into 15 points because there are quite a few words, but it's fine. Keep it structured. Number one, loss of control is a special defence to murder. It is a partial defence which reduces murder to voluntary manslaughter with a discretionary life sentence. Two. Burden of proof is on the prosecution to disprove loss of control. The defendant says they have lost control and the prosecution have to prove beyond all reasonable doubt that they haven't lost self-control. Three, loss of control is set out in section 54, subsection 1 of the Coroners and Justice Act 2009. Four, element one, there must be a loss of control. This must be a total loss of control, not a partial one. And that's the case of dual. Point five. Element two, there must be a qualifying trigger. This means there must have been something which makes the defendant lose control. Six, we can split this into two parts. D, fear serious violence, or the things said or done are of grave character or cause the defendant to have a justifiable sense of being seriously wronged. Point seven, fear of violence. The defendant does not have to fear serious violence on themselves by the victim. It could be to another person, as long as you can say who that other person is. And that's the case of ward and lodge. Point eight, under section 55, 6A, if the defendant has incited, i.e. encouraged violence, um, they cannot have the defence. They also cannot have the defence if it's a revenge killing. Number nine, the defendant has to have a justifiable sense of being seriously wronged. And that is the case of Zebedee. Ten, sexual infidelity is excluded unless you are teased about it and other things. Case of Clinton. Number 11, element three. A person of the defendant's age and sex with a normal degree of tolerance and self-restraint and in the circumstances might have reacted in the same or a similar way. 12. If the defendant has a bad temper, this cannot be taken into account when looking at the level of self-control. 13. Only age and sex are taken into account when looking at the level of self-control. 14. Other circumstances include things like depression, a history of abuse, being teased about alcohol, addiction. And then the final point, 15, the jury has to decide if a normal person in that situation would have reacted in the same or a similar way. So those are your key points for the AO1.